Hi kitty cats! Today is May 18th, 2024. Now I've had a couple of presumably very well-meaning people reach out to tell me that if the maintenance after bottom surgery is going to be so onerous, maybe I shouldn't do it. And the quick answer to that is, I'm not. I chose a procedure that's called a minimal depth vaginoplasty. It's reconstruction of the outer parts, but not reconstruction of the neovaginal canal, the internal parts. There are three reasons why I chose this, but before I tell you what they are, I want to stress that this is what I think, and this is what I feel, and your transition will be different. You may think and feel differently, and I applaud you for that. So reason number one, I'm married to a woman, and we talked about this, and we decided we would not use internal parts. So why should I bother going through the recovery period? Now on the subject of recovery period, Reason number two is that a minimal depth vaginoplasty has about a four week recovery period, whereas a full depth vaginoplasty stretches out to more like 12. All of this depends upon your own healing, of course. And even though I'm working on my own fitness before I go to Thailand, I'm 54 and I'd really rather not stress my body any more than strictly necessary. So reason number three may seem sort of contradictory and it's gender dysphoria. When thinking about this, I really care about the external parts. I don't care that much about the internal parts. And I figured that the maintenance would be more of a reminder of who I was before than otherwise. And I thought that would feel dysphoric. And so that's my big reason for choosing a minimal depth vaginoplasty. Well, hopefully this video is informative. If you liked it, please hit the like button. And please share this with all your friends. Please follow me. And of course, I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.